Hi everyone, I thought I would show you something a little bit different today. Um, I have been trying out um, an idea that I kind of saw, actually a couple of ideas that I saw for, um, I guess, planner charms and paper clips. Um, these are the two books that I'm using. I'm using a personal size Filofax in heart canvas. It is about the weight and the size of like a Filofax Domino. And then this is my um, DIY faux dory that I previously showed. Um, and both are working out really nicely. You can see that they're almost the exact same size. Um, but I'm loving both of them and I'm so glad that I made this faux dory. And I actually have another one that I caved and kind of bought one from Etsy. But I wanted to show you um, what I have been doing lately. Which is this. I have been making my own charms and then mounting them on clips so then I can use them in my planner. So this one is like a little girly kind of a hedgehog. There we go. Kind of hard to see, sorry. This one is a, it's supposed to be like a Chanel purse. This one didn't turn out so great because I smudged the writing. Um, so I'm gonna have to try these examples, but it's supposed to be like a stack of books. And it's supposed to say book luck, but it didn't quite, <laughs> didn't quite turn out the way that I wanted it to. This one is a little uh, French fry box guy with a little face on it. This one is supposed to be for Bible journaling. And I've shared that with you already. And so this, you can see the little cross there and then it says Holy Bible in there. So that's supposed to be the Bible. And this is supposed to be just like a little spiral kind of notebook or something like a sketchbook. It didn't turn out quite the way that I wanted to. I have to work on that design a little bit, but um, might maybe try and use that in Bible journaling. Here we go. This one is a ladybug. Really simple design. So this one came out like really nice compared to the rest. <laughs> and then this one is one of my favorites. This one is a painter's easel with a little face on it. So the way that these work is um, just like this. Let me see if I can slip this in here so that you can see how it works. It just clips, oops, just clips right onto like the pages there. And then it just pops out the top like that. So this one is kind of high profile, meaning it, it kind of rises pretty high above like where the page line is. But I guess you could also use it as like a like a regular bookmark if you really wanted to. I honestly really like like this one. It's kind of a lower profile one. And I like the low profile design because um, it's really nice since it it allows you to it stays a little bit more tucked in. And you'll see that little hedgehog. She looks so sweet as she looks like she's just kind of like sitting on top of the pages. So there's that one. And this one is nice because it's really low profile. And it's so low profile that I can even, like if I wanted to, I could tuck it underneath of the elastic that keeps that shut. So you'll see kind of how they look right there. Here we go. Let's see here, what else can I try and put here? I could even try and put this one on there. See that one, it just kind of runs into that. So this one is a little better suited if I place it closer to the elastic. And I'm kind of putting these in here randomly just so you can see them, but you can see how low profile it is if it's right underneath of that elastic. And then I could just as well put this little cute little fry, French fry guy, small fry one. So, here just like that you'll see it just kind of peeks out of the top of the planner and I have seen um, planner charms before that people like to clip onto their rings but I honestly like this a lot better um, I guess there is there can be a little bit of an issue with them falling out <laughs> I made a really cute fortune cookie one that did end up falling out <laughs> um, and actually one of my students uh, found it in the parking lot and said that it was like smashed, but it's okay. It's not a big deal because I can make just more myself No big deal. Let me see if I can get this one in 
this one's a little bit harder for me to do because I haven't been playing with it. Anyway, you get the idea. But it would otherwise sit and look just like that on the top. And you'll see that one is a little bit higher profile, just like that one is. This one here would be like the same idea. It sticks up a little bit higher. But anyway, that's how it looks. So, um, like I said, I really have enjoyed doing these little, these cute little clips, these little planner charms. And um, I think I'm going to keep making them. I have like a whole list of them that I, that I want to try and make. It's kind of fun and interesting. It, I love doing 3D um, design and work and everything. I used to do soft sculpting with um, crochet, free, free sculpting actually, or um, free crochet, meaning I didn't follow a pattern. Um, I am an art teacher, so I'm, I'm pretty well versed when it comes to like a lot of the different kinds of arts and just how to go about um, creating things and designing things. But just for now, this is what we have. I do have one that's not pictured here that I, I made as well. It's a TARDIS because my husband is a serious Whovian. And so I made that one for him. But these I just kind of made, I guess I just made them for my myself for the most part. And um, I'm just going to keep making them. And uh, I have posted pictures like on Instagram and everything. Um, and some people have inquired if I'm going to sell them or not, and maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. Uh, just for now, they're, they're just kind of fun to make and have. So that's it. Thank you so much. This is a much different video, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!